inflation rears its ugly head. As of last month, we have inflation at a six-year high. The price of goods and services are going up. Everyone feels it. You can see it. Here's the important thing to know. With the trend being what it is, it's going to continue to go higher. As we see interest rates go up, inflation goes up with it. As the cost of money borrowing goes up, the cost of goods go up. This is inflation. There's one way to really protect yourself from inflation. Precious metals. It is the hedge against inflation. As we see more and more people speak about more jobs, better earnings, people's livelihoods getting better. These are a positive thing for the economy. It's a negative thing for the inflation rate. We have been at such a low for so long. We now have to counteract the growth that we see. This is what they call the heating up of the economy. As we see the economy heat up, inflation goes up. Again, the cost of goods and services go up. With the lowest unemployment ratio in decades, we now see the perfect scenario for runaway inflation. An artificially low interest rate has led to the point now where our economy has grown, and we must see inflation. With more people working, the central bank now has the means to talk about increasing the interest rate substantially. Two years ago, the Fed was talking about possibly raising the interest rate a quarter of a percent. Now they're saying let's raise it a quarter of a percent three to four times in the course of a year. This will have a devastating effect on the cost of money. Manufacturers will now have to pay more for the loans they need to produce products. As such, you'll see the cost of those products go up. And while we're getting better jobs and more employed, most folks will believe that they're doing better. But the reality is, inflation is eating away at those new wages they have just gotten. Raises they're getting will be destroyed by inflation. There's one way to truly protect yourself: diversify with precious metals. Get that hedge against inflation.